Hey, what's going guys? Kutas Rukati Warzen here and today I'm going to show you how to set up economy and soup shop for your unturned Linux server. Now I'm running this on Ubuntu 14.04 and it should work for other versions of Ubuntu as well. Now I'm going to right click the download link on economy and copy the link address. And now go to your rocket folder. Now once you're in your rocket folder, you should be able to see all your rocket folders and configurations and permissions. Now you want to type sudo wget, paste the link in, and this will download the latest version of economy. Once it's downloaded, you're going to type sudo unzip latest.zip and that will extract the economy files and it should place all the libraries in the libraries folder so if you type cd libraries as you can see all the libraries are in there now if we go out of it and into our rocket folder again you should be able to see economy plugin we're going to want to move that to our plugins folder. So just type in sudo mv economy.dll to plugins. Enter. Once that's done, we're going to head over to Zoop Shop, right click the download link and copy link address. And the same thing as before, and we're going to type sudo wget paste the link in, enter. Once it's downloaded, it's going to be saved as layers.zip.1 since we had the previous economy layers.zip in there. So we type ls, you should be able to see layers.zip.1. If there was before, just type in sudo unzip layers.zip.1. And just hit A, enter to replace everything. And move the zoop shop plugin to the plugins folder. So sudo mv zoop shop.dll to the plugins folder. Now if we head on into the plugins folder, you will see economy and zip shop. Now I'm going to go back to the main unturned folder and head over to start our server. Now once it started, as you can see, economy and zip shop is going to give you some errors since my school isn't set up. So we're going to shut down the server and install the MySQL server. So just type in sudo app-get install mysql-server y and enter and this will be our MySQL root password so it makes it something unique but for the purpose of this video I'm going to set it as hello123 repeat the password again and enter Once MySQL is installed, we're going to edit the configuration to allow remote connections. This is optional, but I'm just going to show you so you can manage your MySQL server through a GUI such as Hedy SQL. So first off, we're going to type sudo nano slash etc slash mysql slash my.cnf. It should be brought to this MySQL configuration. Scroll down to where you see bind address. If it's commented like this, make sure you remove it. And we're going to bind this address to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. And control X, Y, enter. That should save it. Now we're going to type sudo service mysql restart. And that should restart the mysql server. Once it's done, we're going to create a database and allow remote connections. So just type in mysql minus u and the username is root minus p. Enter the password for the mysql root, which is hello123. Now that you're in the mysql command line, just type in create database, unturn, and end it off with a semicolon. Now the database is created for unturned. Now this is optional, 
where you can unlock more connections while typing grants or privileges on asterisk dot asterisk to the user root within the single speech marks at the speech marks and these percentage sign which is a wild card for all and all for first single speech marks identified by the password which is hello123 in speech marks again with grant option and then we'll for the semicolon all right once that's done what you're going to do is open up head yes go we got that installed paste in the ip here and the password hello123 click open and there you go as you can see the unturned database is right here so we're going to exit out the mysql command line just type in exit with a semicolon and now we're going to edit our you can't make configuration and also zip shop so go back to our main unturned folder and head over to our servers server one and into our plugins folder once you're in the plugins folder you just want to go into the ukami folder now if it's not there make sure you have started your server that should generate the folder and now we're going to edit the ukami configuration so just type in sudo nano ukami dot configuration dot xml once you're in you can leave the database address as localhost since it's on the same host as my school server is running on the database username is root the password is hello123 and the database name is unturned which is the same as the database over here now for the initial balance you can change that to what you want and the money name now to save it just hit ctrl x y enter and that should save it now if you want you can also edit the zoop shop configuration so you can head over to zoop shop folder and edit the zoop shop configuration once you're in you can set these as true or false you don't need to touch the table names that's, that can be left at default so since we didn't change anything i'm just going to hit ctrl x to exit out of it now as for the permissions we're going back now once we're inside the rocket folder you should be able to see permissions.config.xml we're going to edit that so sudo data permissions.config.xml once we're in we're going to add a couple of permissions so just going to highlight it and enter and paste it in and just gonna paste a couple more so now we're gonna add some permissions buy pay to pay another person this we've got sell and we're just gonna add one more which is cost for slash cost of an item Alright, once we're done, we're just going to hit Ctrl X and save it. Now that we have set up economy and the permissions, head over back into your main auto folder and start the server up. Now that the server started, as you can see, economy and Zoot Shop has successfully loaded and there's no errors. So if we go into our Heli SQL, click on the refresh button. And if you expand the unturned database, you can now see economy and item shop tables. And if you click on economy and go to the data tab, you can see all the players balances and also for item shop as well. Now we're going to head over in game and demonstrate some commands. Now that we're in game, if we type slash p, you can see our permissions here. And if we type slash balance, you can see we have 30 credits which we have set in initial balance which was 30. Now if we head over to our heady SQL, open the economy table and under the data tab you can see my steam ID is right here. 
Now if you want to edit the balance of a person, you can do so. Just edit it to where you want, enter. It should update the record. If we type slash P, we type slash balance, you can now see you have a thousand credits. Now to add items to the shop, we're going to head over to our economy items shop table. Right click, insert row, and for example, we're going to add a make kit. Cost will be $50, buy back 35. Once that's in, if we type slash cost item ID or the item name, you can see the cost 50 bucks for the med kit and 35 to sell. So we type slash buy med kit. As you can see, I bought a med kit. Now, if you want, you can also install the Unturn Economy Utility, which basically allows you to add the shop items much easier via a GUI. So if we open it up and click on connect, and it will bring up a pop-up here. So the host will be the IP of your so the host will be the IP of your server. The port is MySQL port, which is 3306. User will be root, password, which was hello123. And database, which is unturned right here. Now, obviously, we're going to lift that as default since it's already here as well. You can also save the MySQL information if you want. So we're going to click connect. And there we go, it's successfully connected and as you can see, we have our medkit right here. So if we add, for example, a police vest, just going to enter in a value for police vest and type add. You can see I've added the police vest, head over back into our Heli SQL, refresh it. You can see police vest right here. So you can add multiple eyes, you can also spam them as well by just clicking add on every single one and it'll just go down the list. Now that is it for this tutorial, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if it helped and I'll see you guys next time.